Good morning, my people. The supernatural hour. God is good. And I'm so glad that uh, yet again this morning you've joined me, joined me to continue praying and, and sharing and believing God for the supernatural in Jesus' name. This week we just want to speak into the month of April. You know, I I love the prophetic anointing because it's by it's by that <laughs> prophetic anointing that you and I and the entire world was created. For in the beginning the Lord already said, Let there be. Let there be and there was praise the lord so god spoke this world into existence hallelujah and as sons and daughters of god as children of god we ought to do what we see our father doing praise the lord so today i just wanted to speak about a couple of things concerning our speech and then we declare and speak into the month of April in Jesus' name. I want us to speak into our finances. I want us to speak into our health, the health of our children, the health of our, of our spouses, those who are married, and the health of our everything in Jesus' name. But if you are here and you have a painful neck, then painful, I think, ribs, but towards the back, especially your left, around here. If you have pain around here, and also pain in your neck, I want to pray for you. You let me know as we continue in this, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that the power of life and death lies in your tongue. The power and that is in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 it says that life and death are in the power of the tongue life and death life that the tongue the tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will eat its fruits that is from the niv when i read the nkjv it says that death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit praise the lord so my people we need to learn to use our tongue to establish the supernatural because the power of life and death is in your tongue everything you see that is living that is alive the nature that you love so much god spoke it into existence in the beginning in the book of genesis if you can go there we see that genesis chapter one the bible says that in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the earth. Darkness was on the face of the earth. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the earth. And this darkness was dealt away with when God spoke. The Bible says in verse 3 that then God said, Let there be light. And the Bible says, And there was light. Praise the Lord. And God saw that the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. 
God called the light day and the darkness he called it night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, so God kept on saying, he spoke the world into existence. Even when he was to create man, he said, now let us create man in our own image. Praise the Lord. So God spoke everything into existence. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Julie, I'm going to pray for you. Don't worry. Stay on. Um, God spoke everything into existence. When you see, um, there's a centurion who said to Jesus that you don't even have to come into my house. As a man in authority, I know what authority does. I just said to this one, go, and to the other one, come, and they do so. How much more you, the one who has all authority, just say a word, and my son and my servant will be made well. And so it was, praise the Lord. So my people, I want, I want you to use your tongue as much as you can. There is power in your tongue. What you speak is not just in vain. We release authority when we speak. Let me say that again. When you speak as a child of God, you don't just release words, but when you speak, you release authority. You release the divine power. You release the divine power. There is one of our friends here. She's called Pauline. She called me yesterday. And she told me for her, she always listens to the supernatural hour, let alone during the day. Because at the time of its manifestation, she's on the road. And she told me that, she sent me a testimony, and she told me that a couple of uh, days ago, she has been in so much debt. So much debt. But there is a session we had whereby we, 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 we prayed and asked God to rebuke the devourer. There are sessions we prayed about the divine power, where we released the divine power. She prayed through that and God did miracles. Dates that had been on her for so many, for, for, for so many months and, and taken away her peace and all that. In a moment, God did miracles and she was able to clear them all. Praise the Lord. And, and, and she testified and she said that she is debt free. To prove that she was debt free, she sent me a thanksgiving offering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I almost could sing blood, but I discovered that uh, Seto Inoso Kozo Zam Patonaba Kuzi Simbulam. So I didn't Kusimbula. So praise the Lord. That is the God that we serve. But we release the power when we speak. So your speech is not just a speech, it is power. When we go to pray for the sick, we release power. We speak life. We speak healing. There is a song that says, um, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So my people, you need to, to learn how to use your tongue. So many times, your tongue has been off. Your speech has been off. When you speak, you've been speaking sorrow. When you speak, you've been speaking pain. When you speak, you've been speaking failure. This month, I want you to labor to speak life. I want you to labor to speak provision, to speak good health, to speak the glory of God, to speak power. In the name of Jesus, 
and assuredly I say to you, as you speak, miracles are going to happen. Why? Because now that you are born again, you carry the DNA of your father. And your father is a prophetic father. He speaks things into existence. In fact, the Bible says that when he says a word, it doesn't return to him void. But that word he says, it does what he sent it to do. Praise the Lord. So why is it like that? Why is it that when you say a word, it comes to pass? I remember, I think it's in uh, Job chapter 28. Uh, it says that make a decree and it shall be established. One day I was having a conversation with a man, with a man, with a man of God. And uh, he opposed me on this one. I think he had done uh, a lot of theology school. Eh? So he had so much theology than I do. So the theology he learned uh, somehow contaminated, contaminated his faith. So he didn't believe this. I didn't argue with him because he was a man of God. I just continued with my thing. I just continued to declare things into existence. If you declare a thing and it doesn't happen, you shouldn't quit. One of the great men I honor so much, and that is Pastor Andrew Chimuli, my papa, he says that do not lower the standard of scripture to your experience, but raise your experience to the standard of scripture. Sometimes because of your unbelief, because of your unbelief and so many circumstances, you may never, you may not see certain things happen yet. And I use the word yet, because I know sooner or later, as you remain persistent, they will happen. Praise the Lord. So, I know maybe as I speak this, you have a testimony, a negative testimony of this. But I want you to know that the reason why you have it is because you quit, is because you gave up, is because you weren't persistent, is because you, your, your faith was contaminated by certain things. It could be the sins in your life, etc, etc. But the Bible says, and it's the word of God is a standard. It, it's, 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 it, it cannot be challenged. It says in Job chapter 22, verse 28, that you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways says the word of God. You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. For you. Becky, you will declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. Samuel, Winston and everyone, Julie, you will declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways, says the word of God. So I want you to use your tongue. And here the word of God didn't specify what to think. So some of us have declared evil on our lives. We've declared evil on our children. We've declared evil in other things. And because... Satan also reads the word of God. So when you declare evil, he uses that as a covenant to establish it in your life. Let me say that again. When you declare a negative thing, demon is because they know the authority God gave to you. He uses your tongue as a covenant 
something he stands on, they stand on to establish evil in your life. Why? Because of your tongue. And likewise, the angels of God, when you declare a thing, when you declare a thing, more so the word of God spoken about you, they bring it to pass. Where am I getting that? Psalms 103. Zabuli. Psalms 103. This is what it says. It says that uh, when you read downwards, it says that bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word. So they excel in strength. The angels of God excel in strength. They do the word of God. And they heed Heeding the voice of the word of God. Heeding the voice of the word of God. Hallelujah. So, in other words, it says that, So bless God, you angels, ready and able to fly at his biding, quick to hear and do what the word of God says. And I want to read for you the Passion Translation for, for understanding, you know, allow us to understand the word of God because sometimes you read things no but I want us to understand it so that when we are operating we are operating in the knowledge and the knowing of this in Jesus' name it builds confidence when you know what you are operating in hallelujah so Psalms 103 verse 21 and I want to read from the Passion Translation here. This is what it says. It says that, Bless and praise the Lord, you mighty warriors, ministers who serve Him well and fulfill His desires. Then verse 20 says, So bless the Lord, all His messengers of power. Those are the angels of God. For you are his mighty heroes who listen intently to the voice of his word to do it. So the angels of God listen intently to the voice of the word of God to do it. So they, list, they don't listen to the word of God. The Bible that doesn't say that they listen to the word of God. The Bible says that they listen to the voice. They listen to the voice of the word of God. So the angels of God which excel in strength, they listen to the voice of of the word of God to do it. What does that mean? That means that means that if you give voice to the word of God, hallelujah, you activate the angels around you to do it. When you listen, when you give voice. To the word of God. You activate the angels around you. To do it. To hear it. And to do it. Why? Because the Bible says. That these angels. Hear. The voice. Of the word of God. They heed. Actually the word is heed. Heed is basically to hear and do. They heed. The voice of of the word of God. It's what the centurion said to Jesus. That being in authority. When you say a word. Because you are in authority. When you say a word. Those who submit to your authority. Which are the angels of God. They will hack it. They will heed it. 
and they will do how it say what it says so Arthur a call and everyone on this platform you have a mandate to give voice to the word of God to speak the word of God to declare a thing and it will be established in Jesus name I don't know how many times you've activated demons around you because basically you know the enemy copies what the Lord does so when you speak evil the demon is hacking and they do it when you speak good the angels hacking they heed to what you say and they do it in Jesus name but this carries a magnitude of faith especially when it comes to the Word of God so you won't just wake up in the morning and start speaking things and they come to pass praise the Lord now I want to take you to certain other principles so that we can build this muscle so well in Jesus name hallelujah are you are we together my am, am I too fast or you get them speed so when you read there is a scripture that I love so much and um, it is in the book of Luke chapter 45 chapter 6 verse 45 if we can go there Luke chapter 6 verse 45 this is what it says I love the word of God Ah, No, no, it's um okay. Okay, Father, where is it? It's around here. Where is it? Where is it? I'm looking for. Just give me a moment, my people. This just dropped in my spirit. And I. Oh, yeah. I was in another translation. Okay. Okay. Luke chapter 6, verse 45. This is what it says. It says, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. So here you see that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Hallelujah. That means that there have to be deposits of the word of God in your heart for you to be able to speak the word of God with confidence, with faith. And you speak from the overflow of it. Hallelujah. You don't speak from the liter of it. You speak from the overflow. You speak from, you speak with revelation. You do not speak um, from the little deposits. You speak from, from the overflow, from the abundance, from from the revelation of it, from the insight of it, when you're speaking it, you speak with confidence. Why? Because you're speaking with revelation. You are not speaking the, the word. This word doesn't mean that you you have the entire Bible in your heart. 
No, 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 no. You, you, you may be having just one scripture, but that scripture, you, it's, it's overflowing. It's so abundant in you that you, 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 when you, you, when in your heart, you are full of life because of what the word of God says that by his stripes, you are healed and, and, and you, there is an overflow of revelation. There is an overflow of power. So when you're speaking, you're not just speaking what you read. You're speaking what you perceived. You're speaking what you believe. You're speaking out of faith. Praise the Lord. That is what it basically means. And when you speak that, the angels hid the voice of the word of God, your very voice. And guess what? They will do it. I was studying about angels and I learned that they are angels, various angels, and they have various work in our lives. That will be a story of another. They will gather some information for us and probably we shall study about angels. I don't know. It's a very sensitive topic, but it's good for the mature kids. And we have been here for quite long, so we can perceive these things. We can chew on some bones, praise the Lord. So my people, you get what I'm talking about. So when you speak the word of God, from the abundance of the heart, you activate angels. Raphael, you activate these angels, the angels of healing and all that. And you shall see things come to pass. So what does that mean? That means that you're going to build a culture, a culture of meditating on the word of God, a culture of praying through the word of God, because praying through the word of God causes the word of God that is written causes the word of God that is in the mind to become Rema. Hallelujah. Because this is Logos. The written word of God is Logos. But that does not work. What works is the Rema word. When the Logos becomes Rema, when it becomes alive, when, you, when it pops out of that book that you're reading, when it pops out of that app that you are reading and you see it alive and it becomes abundant, that's when it is rema, it's rema to you. You don't just hear the word of God, you don't just read the word of God saying, saying by your stripes, you, 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 the pain in, in your rib towards your back is healed. But you just see it happen, it pops out. I don't know if you get what I'm talking about. It's like when I was praying um, uh, for the other man on, on, on yesterday, but one, I had so much confidence because the word of God I was releasing, the authority I was releasing, it was not just the written authority. It was the spoken authority. It was the, the, the rema. It, it was like rema to me. It was from the abundance of the, my heart. So it carried faith that the angels around that man that had that word, they had to heed it, they had to operate. And that is how things work. One of the ways we do this is when we frequently declare it. One of my singers, worshipers I love so much, she, say, she says that sometimes we sing it because we believe it. Other times we sing it until we believe it. Until it becomes prophetic to you. Sometimes we say things because we've already believed them. Other times we say them until we believe them. In Jesus' name. Because one way again faith comes. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God. God. So okukiriza kujango ude no ulira no ulira chigango chakatonda. You may hear it from someone else, but better you hear yourself say it 
better you used your mouth to declare it until your spirit, until your heart hears it, hears it over and over again and then it rise up in you so that the next time you release it, the angels hid, the angels hearken, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want you to activate angels around you. Angels in your spheres. In Jesus' name. And all you need to do is to speak. And to speak with confidence. Sometimes I hear people say and they tell us. But why do our local. They, they, they tell us those things. And usually we tell them that. Um. If if you if you can pray without distraction, it's okay. Thank God that for you, Munangi, you don't have things distracting you. You don't have other voices that are silencing you. But I, I usually tell them, you go and read the story of Blind Bartimaeus. And see, when Blind Bartimaeus was calling upon the Lord... There were some other voices around him trying to silence him, telling him, shut up. Voices of unbelief. And these are happening even today. When you begin to pray, there are voices that, that come and silence you. They may, they may be voices of your past. They may be voices of the experience you've gone through. They may be physical voices from a person that is besides you. They may be in the mind the voices of the evil one trying to, to silence your faith. But what do you do in that moment? In that moment you'll be like blind but myers. Hallelujah. You shout the more. You make it louder. Hallelujah. That's why the, the apostle... I call him apostle, but he's David. David says, shout. Make a joyful shout. In Jesus' name. There are ladies like Hannah. They prayed to God. And because there were so many voices around her, voices of her, the Bible says when you go to pray, you have to close the door behind you. And you talk to your father. You ought to close every door around you and talk to your father who is in heaven. That means you, for me, my understanding of it is that when you go to pray to your father, make sure the communication is between you and your father. Make sure you've closed everything else behind. If you use your mouth to close it, the better. And sometimes, by the way, you can just go into your prayer room. Your room, no one else that is in there. The door is closed, but the spiritual doors are still open. And then you get out of that room the way you went, even worse. But when you use this mouth that God gave us to shut every door, to close every door, for me I second you in Jesus' name. So those people who say sometimes our local two are gonna, it's okay. Do we have results? Yes, we do. Hallelujah. And the beauty I always tell people is that Munange, go to Oganira Yaviagara. The mere fact that we are not praying to you, so you will never perceive it. But the one we pray to, Munange, Ira, Gotusa Vengere, Jetusava, Atulira, Irana Tuanukula, Irana Tudam, now Martin Tua Savida, Nemufune Birunji. You get what I'm talking about. So, my people of the supernatural hour, use your voice. Whichever way that you can, whichever way you can silence the enemy, do it. I do so much of delivering sessions. And let me tell you, in the delivering session, there is a war that goes on. Hallelujah. So if you cannot 
Speak out of the abundance of your heart with boldness, with confidence. And some of the confidence rises with the command in your voice in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So from that, uh, having spoken all that to you, I think we can pray. I said, use your tongue to activate the angels around you, but speak from the abundance of your heart in Jesus' name. So I want us to pray. I want us to pray. There is a man who understood this very well, and he is called David. David understood this mission of using his tongue very well. You know, David was a soldier. David was a fighter. David was a warrior. David won many battles. But for every battle he won, he spoke victory. Like that is David. I know you love him so much like I do. But there is no battle. I've read about David several times. But there is no battle that David went into and he didn't speak victory. <laughs> you get even the day the first battle we see him winning and that is with Goliath he first spoke victory Goliath in fact he didn't even call him Goliath he called him you uncircumcised Philistine like David <laughs> I don't know if you pick a leaf from this man. He, he had a new man, you know, baby. Yeah, nga omulabe, omulabe, we, ye tawa man. Nay, David, muspichi amunyoma. Nagaba, ah, it's like the witches which have attacked you. It's like the sorcery of the sicknesses which have attacked you. Some of us, we have, we, we, we have raised them even above the name of our Lord. Look, I'm an angry so like you raise that cough above your God but I love David so much why because he underlooked his enemies why he knew his God David knew his God that as all the, the, the Israelites they were so afraid and and they esteemed they raised uh, the, 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 the Philistines high above everything in great fear, David came and, and he undermined the, the, the Philistian. Now Mugamba we, we uncircumcised the Philistian. But you get what I'm talking about. He undermined his enemies. And one of the ways you ought to defeat your enemies is when you do not fear them. In the month of April, I want you to to, to when any challenge that comes your way, you need to to Omulave muteke wa ino kuvera. Aina kuvera wa siwa bigele vya fe. Muna aso nywa sometimes obzungu usu kako. Atena dalanga joge delu unji for long, uh, for, for a lot of time. Luke endela. But, you need to put the enemy where he belongs. And that is under our feet. David said to Goliath that you uncircumcised Philistian. I am going to destroy you. In the name of the Lord of Israel, the God of Israel, whom you have defied. And in that moment, praise the Lord. And Goliath, long story short, so David always spoke victory before every battle. So I want you to speak victory today in Jesus' name. David was always at war. He was always in battle. But David spoke something that is very profound. And that is in Psalms 118, verse 17. He said, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. When David declared that, it doesn't matter what death came his way. It doesn't matter what battles came his way. It was done. It was it, that was a, a signed thing in the spiritual realm. So I want you to speak life. 
over your business, over your health in the month of, of April, over your finances, over your, 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 your very, very body in Jesus' name right now. In the next uh, 10 minutes or 15 or so, whichever God gives us, I want us to now use our voice. One, I want you to use your voice to silence every other voice of the enemy like blind but Myers did. Two, I want you to speak certain things you want to see in the month of April. And if you do not believe them, I want you to speak them. Standing in the word of God that God has revealed to you. And I want you to speak until you believe them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, uh, with confidence, if you have been busy doing something, pause a little this moment. It's very, very crucial. In fact, let me even change the music for you. Kakuakaimba. Kana kole lulunji. Kariwa. Kaka. So I want you to speak it. If you have been busy, just pause for a moment and begin to declare. Because I want you to test, to test and see that the Lord is good. I told you on the supernatural hour, we are very practical. But we get into to Chikola. So that the days to come, um, they become part of us and we become conduits of them in every atmosphere that we go. So I want you to do that in the next 10 or 15 minutes. In Jesus' name, I want you to declare if it's concerning your children, declare it. If it is concerning your, your, your business, declare it. If it's concerning marriage, declare it in Jesus' name. Abba Father, I thank you. Because, oh God, you hear us when we pray. I thank you because you are our God. We have no other kande le maya. You who is a God of angel armies, the maker of the heavens and the earth. You are our God in the name of Jesus. And just as you assigned angels to, to your servants, Daniel, oh God, I believe that you have assigned angels to us in the name of Jesus. They are all around us, my master, waiting for us to speak your word, waiting for us to give voice to your word in the name of Jesus. Because, my master, you gave us authority here are on earth in Jesus' name when you say it in your word that all authority, all authority in heaven and on the earth has been given unto you our Jesus and then you say now that authority I give to you my people go, go and establish things, if you believe whatever I did you will do and even more in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus so Father, tonight we come before you. Some of us, we don't even know what to say. Some of us, we don't even know what to declare. But we know that, oh God, we are not alone. We are with your Holy Spirit, our very helper in the name of Jesus. The one who never leaves us and never forsakes us. In the name of Jesus. Rema shandele kure mandele kaya rabaya. So, Father, this morning, this morning, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we release your divine power over our families. Come on, release that power. Release the divine power. Oh, God, we release the divine power over our atmospheres. That dunamis power of God. That power that destroys the devourer. That power that overcomes every evil. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, this morning we release that power over our spheres. Oh God, this morning we release that power over our families. I release your very power over our bodies. Your healing power, oh God. And I command every pain to leave. And I command every pain to leave. Julie, I command that pain in your neck. I command that pain in your back. I command that pain in your hips to live now by the power of the Holy Spirit. His word says that there will be no more pain. There will be no more pain. There will be no more pain. Oh God, 
this morning in the name of Jesus I declare no more pain in the neck of Julie no more pain in the back of your daughter no more pain in the in the hip of your daughter in the name of Jesus Christ for by your stripes we are healed by your stripes we are healed in the name of Jesus so father together in one accord in the month of April we declare that we shall live we shall not die and our life shall full of declarations of your goodness in the land of the living our life shall be full of declaration in the name of Jesus Christ declarations of the works of the Lord in our land my master in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because of God you are working out everything you are making our way and there seems to be no way when you say that I will bring a road in the wilderness oh God the wilderness is in our lives there are certain doubts, my father. I have been seeing in my life the previous months of this year, the previous years. And oh God, I, I pray that in the month of April, There is a river, a river of life from a father that I see overflowing in every part of this drought, in every part of this drought in my life. In the name of Jesus, you must the voice of Sarah, of Gametata, Chinechea Chukomoro Alelo, Chinechea Chenimu, Echevian Funa, Chukomoro Zuguno, Chukomoro Zuguno, Guno Mazitata, Nenda Kulabo, Rudi was Sarah. Come on, declare, come on, speak, come on, declare what you want to see in the name of Jesus. Standing in His Word, standing in His Word. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mashandele kura mandele kara bayandele baya. Father, we speak increase. We speak elevation in Jesus' name. Mashandele kura mandele kara baya la masala baya. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, we declare in the mouth of a prayer. We shall not be sick. We shall not be afflicted with diseases. That even when we are, your healing power is upon us. Your healing anointing is upon us. In the name of Jesus. So to tanga in the mouth of April, we declare divine health for both our household and our everything in the name of Jesus. Chitanga, we declare divine health for our household and our livestock in the name of Jesus. Remajandele kara mandele kai. Our sicknesses and diseases of Egypt are hovering on the face of the earth. The ready eyes and the souls. Oh God, we pray this morning that in the month of April, as your scripture says in Psalms 37, verse 3, that trust in the Lord and do good. Well in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Oh God, we dwell in the land. We dwell, we dwell in this land that you have given us and feed on your faithfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because we trust in you, because our trust is in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, the God that gives us the desires of our hearts. Oh God, tonight we declare that we shall dwell in this land and nothing shall overcome.
overcome us and nothing shall move us and nothing shall destroy us in the mighty name of Jesus. In fact, our Father, we declare elevation, elevation in every part of our lives, elevation in our business, elevation in our finances, elevation in our health, elevation in everything in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you are our God. Because you are our God. In Jesus' name. So my people go ahead and speak what you desire. I remember that moment Jesus asked Brian Bartimaeus, What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? And I know that very word is still echoing to every one of us. The Lord asking, Chicho Yagala Kukole de Guno Mwesi. Yemu Sedo Bozo Mugambe Tata. This is my desire. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If your desire is to conceive this month, you pray and tell him, Mukama, like Hannah prayed, so I pray. Lord, may there be fruit in my womb. In Jesus' name, if your desire is to start building this month, tell him, Mukama, that this month I may start building. If your desire is divine health, you are tired of swallowing medicine for certain sicknesses. Mugambe Tata Athima Akome. This month I desire to be in divine health. This month I will not take medication for ulcers. Sigenda Kumi Miratata. Why? Because you are Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord my healer. You are the Lord my deliverer. Pray right now in Jesus' name. Remashandele Karamandele Karaba. And tell him, oh God, this month I will drive my ride in Jesus' name. Rema shandele kara mandele kaya. O mugambe tata. Ebi sera miyange ndaba nga bitangala. Ndabu wakamba wabewe chitangala. Chitange nziki zeba dembula mwange. Yoneva wo orwe chitangala. Chechi zemula mwange kuno mwesi. O Lord, your light by, by, by virtue of the light which has come into my life. Oh God, every power of darkness is defeated. Every power of darkness is defeated. Lord, I declare defeat into, into the enemy's camp. Mukama ndakula, ndakulo kusanyi siwa wo. Kwa uli bota yomubi, ndakilo kusanyi siwa wo. Kwa uli yekalu yomubi, muli nyara esu mwana wakatondo mla. Rema shandele kara mandele kaya. Oh God, I pray for every man and woman in this place that it doesn't matter what the sorcerers do. Father, I declare that your sons and daughters in the month of April, we are secure. We are secure from every attack of the devourer, from every sorcery. Neviva muchaleyo, neviva muchibuga, neviva muwengula, nevirondo lemisha. I prophesy into the lives of sons in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power in your blood, the blood that speaks better things than any other blood. Oh God, I plead your blood in the month of April upon your daughters and sons, upon their souls, upon our souls. And Father, I declare that we are secure in you from every attack of the devourer. Oh God, I declare that in the month of April we are secure from every evil attack of the wicked one because you are for us and your word says that if God is for us who can be against us oh father I declare I declare that every evil every sorcery every witchcraft every it is defeated in the mighty name of Jesus oh God I declare that every enchantment that every declaration of the evil one, every word of the evil one, oh God, it is condemned. None of it shall see a blessing in our lives in the month of April. Oh God, I declare whatever the evil one 
strength, whatever that evil one have declared. Oh God, I pray tonight that none of it shall come to pass. None of it shall see a blessing on our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. So Father, I condemn because I, you go before me because you are with me. And Father, I believe none of the evil desires shall come upon us, shall come upon our families. In fact, O oh King of glory, our families shall live. Our children shall prosper in their education. They will excel by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter what the evil ones say, because your word is higher and above every other word. Your word is powerful, my Father. So Lord, we declare that over our children, they will prosper. They will be in good health. They will excel in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we speak that in the name of Jesus. That, oh God, in the month of April, we are going to see increase in our finances. Your word says you give us grace to grace. You take us from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, because you are a God who takes us from glory to glory. Whatever is a promotion is my father. Those who have been believing in you for promotion is for so many months ago. Lord, I pray that they will come this month in the name of Jesus against all odds. Lord, I pray that those promotions they come this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Against any every will of any other man in the name of Jesus. Lord, I stand in your word that says trust in the Lord and do good dwell in the land and feed on your faithfulness oh God this month we are to feel on more of your faithfulness in the mighty name of Jesus so father as the sheep of your pasture we believe we are going to see miracle signs and wonders we believe at the end of this month we shall come back here and testify because my father you exceed our expectations you exceed our requests my father that is what you do that is what you are famous for king of glory so father we honor you so my master we honor you we commit our ways to you my father because lord your word says that when we trust in you you bring it to pass so father we declare that every declaration we have made you will bring it to pass in jesus name like david declared and said to the philistian that you uncircumcised philistian you come against me with all those weapons, but I come against you in the name of the God of Israel, whom you've defied. And Abba Father, we saw you give David victory. So Father, we come against everything in our land. We attack everything in the month of April in your name, not in any other name. Because Father, we trust, we, we learned yesterday that our trust should be in you and only you my father so father we come against those that betubanja in your name my master and we know that have a father this month of april they will pay in jesus name they will pay in jesus name they will pay in jesus name like that man who came to me and he told me, Musumba, I worked for a company 10 years ago. They hadn't paid me. But when I prayed with you, they have started depositing money on my account. After 10 years, my master, you did a miracle. So, Father, it doesn't matter how long it has taken. 
What matters is that, oh God, you are in the room. What matters that, oh God, you are in control. What matters that, Lord, your word says, you shall bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Na baba tumanja tata, guno mwezi tuba malayo mlinyari ya Yesu. Oh God, at the end of this month, we shall balance and we shall have no debts with, with anyone, my master. In the name of Jesus, because Father, we see you as Jaira in the month of April. We are seeing you as Jaira and we are singing that song of provision because oh God you are you are the one to provide you are the one who is going to provide for oh God we are here to feed on your faithfulness and part of your faithfulness is that you are a provider you provide for your people you provide for your kids you provide for your children you provide for your daughters and sons in Jesus name so father we believe in you for that we don't know where the provision will come from. Some of us have already made certain plans for that provision. Nevertheless, we don't put our trust in any of that. We put our trust in you. So, Father, we believe the provision will come your way in Jesus' name. The healing will come your way, not because of the good doctors. We thank you for the good doctors in our community. But, Father, we believe that the healing will come from you because you are our healer and we have no other so father we trust in you and we commit our ways to you and we know that my father we shall not only feed on your faithfulness but oh god you shall give us the desires of our hearts and you shall bring it all to pass in Jesus' name amen amen and amen so continue speaking it, continue declaring these things, continue speaking it to the month of April until you believe. Even for you who has believed, in fact, speak more. The one who hasn't believed, speak until you believe. The one who has believed already, speak more in Jesus' name. But I want to encourage you, there is a song which we released, Abade Katonda. Please share with your people. Use your social media platforms. If you love me, do that for me. I've got so many testimonies from it. And I believe even your people, they desire, they, they desire that. So share it with them. You already have the link. Share it on your social medias, on your in your groups share it with your people it's called Abade Katonda and the beauty is that God uh, gave us the ability to do a beautiful video so you can share the video with them the link um, and let us um, um, do the gospel work together in Jesus name otherwise I love you and see you tomorrow same time in the morning bye bye so this is the song. It's called Abad de Katonda. Share with your people.
Oh, no. 